Hey guys, I'm back for a quick little orchid update. I won't take up too much of your time, but I have a really awesome orchid that finally just bloomed. I can smell the fragrance from here. It's beautiful. I'm so excited to show it to you guys. Uh, let's go check it out. Hey guys, this is my Cattleya Walkeriana Divina cross sibling. I got this a couple years ago at a small kind of uh, family owned uh, greenhouse and um, they were having a sale and it was in bud and I grabbed it for the heck of it. I didn't know anything about it. Um, I just thought it looked like an interesting plant. Um, so I grabbed it and it's, you know, become probably one of my favorite orchids in my whole collection. Um, what can I say about it? So like I said, it was in bud when I brought it home uh, originally and it bloomed for me and it was incredible. Um, after the flower faded, I repotted it. Um, just threw it in a clay pot with some coarse bark. Um, Walkeriana is like a fast draining medium. Um, they actually grow on kind of like barren, rocky, kind of like cliff faces and outcroppings and stuff in the wild sometimes. Um, so that's why they have such a need for like really intense bright light. Um, it was in bud when I bought it, like I said, um, but the second year I had it, I did not manage to rebloom it. This is the growth that came in, and uh, you can see the difference. Um, I had it in a south-facing window, which was not enough light for it. This growth came in um, kind of like um, extended, and it didn't grow straight upright like you know a healthy-looking um, cattleya leaf typically should when they're you know well lit. Um, so that growth didn't bloom for me, um, because it just was not getting the light that it needed. Um, but I have since, uh, gotten this awesome setup with some, um, LED panels. Um, so the next growth after that, I did manage to rebloom, and here it is. Um, I only got one flower on it, but it's huge, um, you know, considering the plant itself is kind of small, so... I don't mind, but I, you know, can't wait to maybe get multiple leads on it in the future and, you know, get a nice big bloom display. Um, let's talk about the uh, color and the ID for a second. Um, it's Walkeriana Divina cross sibling. When I look up pictures of Walkeriana Divina, it's just this straight, like, bright pink color. Um, totally different than, than mine. Mine looks like a cerulea. Um, if you look up Cattleya walkeriana cerulea, um, it looks quite similar to this. Um, it definitely looks more like a cerulea than a, than a divina. So I wonder if that ID could be wrong. Um, maybe it's not. Maybe the sibling, pros, the sibling cross brought out a different kind of color form on it. So um, anything's possible, I guess. But um, it's a very kind of pale blue lavender color, which is awesome. Um, because ceruleas are really cool. I actually don't have many ceruleas. Um, this one here is supposed to have um, some cerulea in it, so I was hoping for um, some cerulea out of that one, but um, yeah, just such a gorgeous flower. The fragrance is awesome, too. It's like, um, you know, it's very floral, but it's got this really, like, nice, um, kind of, like, musky, spicy, um, like, kind of cologne type smell it's got a really like nice uh kind of heavy earthy kind of cologne smell which i really love i can smell it from like a couple feet away um i just love it one interesting thing about walkerianas too um walkerianas are known to actually um some of them bloom from their rhizome instead of from the top of the growth um mine does bloom from the top of the growth though so uh, that's just an interesting side note too but yeah a lot of walkerianas um kind of send out flower spikes from the base of the pseudobulb which is interesting but mine mine flowers from the top of the growth like a regular cattleya does um but yeah it's just a really kind of unusual orchid walkerianas are um kind of different than regular cattleyas in, in a couple ways um which makes them really like interesting and kind of fascinating to me and and you know the fact that the id um you know is kind of questionable and and that i haven't found really um any other people with with the same looking plant just makes it really kind of like intriguing to me it's just a, a weird 
it's a weird flower and I love it. Um, yeah, I think that's all I really had to say about it. The blooms don't last all that long. Um, so I wanted to just jump on here and do a quick little impromptu video before, um, before the flower fades. I was really hoping to kind of do like a better researched, um, more kind of like culture oriented, um, type video, but that would have taken more time to prepare and, you know, I didn't want the bloom to fade in the meantime. So I wanted to just jump on here and document it for you guys. But, um, I'd like to maybe, um, continue talking about Wakarianas because they're a pretty cool um, orchid and I don't see a lot of people talking about them and they're pretty fascinating. So if you know anything about Wakarianas, um, if you have an idea of what the ID might be for this plant, um, I'd love for you to leave it down below in a comment. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions or anything like that as well, I'd love to hear them. Um, but I have lots of stuff in, in spike and lots of stuff in, in buds, so uh, please stay tuned. I have uh, lots of cool stuff planned. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.